I request unanimous consent to address the House for five minutes. Without objection. If you want to see what Muslim Americans truly represent, go to the Uma Community Clinic and you will see it there. We are in the poorest, not just in Los Angeles, but probably in the United States. This population has the most premature births, most number of foster kids, the most number of child abuse, the least number of people with health insurance. In California, one out of every three people in this state does not have health insurance. We're not just talking about homeless people or drug addicts. Eighty percent of the uninsured still have jobs. What does that mean? That means that these aren't lazy people not doing anything. There's a very serious problem with the system. LA County has seen the closure of 11 community clinics. These people might have to take five buses and two freeways to access services that are not practical for them to access. Uh, we have to realize that the Umma Community Clinic is sometimes the only resort uh, for our community to go to. And that really is part of why Oma settled on South Central Los Angeles. It's caring for those neighbors who are the most needy. We were quite naive and quite idealistic as students. And though we didn't have much resources or financial backing or even a land or building, we had our Islamic faith in common which compelled us to put our faith in action and provide services to a community in need. When we first saw the building, it was basically a boarded up, run down, crumbling building that was literally a source of disease to the community. It was being used by drug dealers and drug addicts. When we first went in the building, it was full of needles, liquor bottles. And we were able to take this eyesore, this disease-ridden building, and turn into something that promotes health. So in a sense, even before Uma Clinic saw its first patient, it had already made an impact on the community. I was looking around the place, and I'm like, I used to smoke crack sitting right, sitting right over there. In fact, that tree right there has my name on it. And this is really the exact spot where the LA riots happened. We found that this particular area, which was right on the same street where Reginald Denny was beaten during the civil disturbances of 1992. It's a place that showed historic intolerance, and it should be a place that shows historic mercy and historic compassion. Our focus is not just treating disease, is to provide ongoing preventive services, health education, in hopes of promoting the overall health of this community. We're not just a band-aid. We're not something that helps someone for a minute or a moment, but we're building relationships. They treat you like you're a person, not a number. You know, you're not number 62. When you walk in the door, you feel safe, like in a little piece of heaven uh, in the middle of chaos. I didn't realize how large scale this would end up being. Um, the community clinic has just expanded so much. Today we're responsible for over 16,000 patients. Umma is actually the first Muslim clinic to provide health care to the underserved in the United States. And I really think it's a good thing that the Muslims would come up with something like this to help the community and invite more than just, you know, Muslims here. Of all of our patients, I would say maybe one to two percent of them are Muslim. Everybody here coming, the black, white, Muslim, non-Muslim, everybody same treatment. Y aunque yo no hablo inglés, pues tiene doctores que hablan inglés y también hablan español y le ayudan a uno. Que dormir derecho así, pero que no estar así derecho, derecho. Puede hacer un cambio permanente. Uma has provided this remarkable setting of acceptance, of tolerance, of friendship, and of love. The way we are being portrayed in the media, it's very nice to see a place where people are coming and are feeling uh, welcomed and respected and taken care of. Islam is represented for what it is, which is an open-minded, tolerant faith. The Islamic message is bigger than just about us. It's bigger than just about giving 
into um, our own. Your actions speak louder than words, and I think that's what Uma does. Uma is actually doing the work. The other unique aspect of Uma is the fact that we don't just see patients, we actually make doctors here. Medical students, residents in training come here from different universities to be trained. I get to learn a lot. I get to learn how to have better patient rapport. I'm learning from top-notch physicians. The doctors that come here are from UCLA, CHLA. They're not just, you know, doc in the boxes that um, didn't graduate from school or didn't finish their studies. We have very high quality care at our clinic. Yeah, I've seen some private clinics that, you know, even I know they charge a lot. And they don't look not even half of what this clinic looks like. They walk in there and they learn to not only is just medicine they get, also is a love. Many of them have told me that they feel that this is one place where, even though there's other chaos in their life, that there's um, a healing presence here and that there's a sense of dignity that they get here. To go someplace and have someone to tell you, you're a very intelligent young lady, Jennifer, and you should try to go back to school. They were instrumental in me getting myself together. If we're going to heal this community and heal the world, we start out with, with projects like UMA. And UMA is really a symbol that if we can do it here, we really can do it anywhere. If you have the opportunity to help in an endeavor that stands against bigotry, that stands for broad-mindedness, for benevolence, why not seize that opportunity? Give so whatever you can. Give from the heart. <laughs> I remember it was a two years ago fundraising. We walk in there, some lady walk into me, put the two years old in my arms, and he said, I took him everywhere. Couldn't get a help for him. One day I was walking in a sidewalk here. I saw the name Free up there. I walk in there, and my baby was quite dirty. I was quite dirty. But you picked up my baby. That's what Oma Clinic is. They give without asking anything back.